Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Nice late night rally here with 2021 Topps 5 Star Baseball 8 Box Full Case Picker Team number 25. Big thanks to everybody here for making it happen on Tuesday 12, 2022. No, uh, no Rockies on the checklist, so we do not sell them. Lauren with that last spot mojo and that second to last spot mojo. Matt kind of re-kickstarted things here for that five star. So thanks to him. Thanks everybody for making it happen. Appreciate it. So now we can liberate these cards from the shackles of these boxes, the prisons of these boxes and give them, send them to a good home. Your home, hopefully. <laughs> good luck everyone. These evil oppressive boxes. Let's let's free them. Let's free them. Freedom! Freedom! When's the last time I ever watched Braveheart? Does that still hold up? It's a period piece. I feel like it holds up. It's not super factual, but. I feel like it's a pretty entertaining movie. All right. Let's use this blank card here with the Jaspi logo on it. Still holds up, says Matt Arnold. All right. Still holds up. I can fight. I know. I know he can fight. But it's our wits that make us men. That's a good line from that movie. There's Tariq Skubal. I'm your uncle, Argyle. That goes to Steve Herrick in Detroit. And back here. Ooh, nice patch auto, Luis Garcia. Second baseman for the Nats. 17 out of 25, three color patch and auto for Matt Arnold. And the Nationals, one of, one of the last teams picked up. Nice. All right, you know what? I, I just want to put this out into the universe here. We have not seen, I think we've done, this is break 25. So we, I don't think we've seen a cut auto out of it. At least I haven't pulled one. Maybe maybe if Jason did a group break of this or maybe on personal breaks we've pulled one, but I feel like I have not personally pulled a cut auto out of this five star. Oh, we got a redemption. Let's play the redemption game. I'll give everybody one and only one guess on that redemption. So put a guess in, and if you guess it, I'll give you $5 of break credit. And if somebody already guessed your guess, right, make sure you're, uh, you have live chat set on your, on your uh, chat window in YouTube. But if somebody already guesses your guess, you got to guess again. Only one guess or all of your guesses are, uh, are canceled. Uh, not a Juan Soto, Matt Arnold, because here's a live Juan Soto, 4 out of 25 silver signatures. That's for Matt and the Washington Nationals. Junior or senior, Kevin? I think there could be both. So nice live silver signature for Matt Arnold. I'll take it, he says. Still one of the best bits of penmanship in the business. Brody Bam already guessed uh, Acuna Jr. Try again. Kevin M. has guessed Ken Griffey Jr. I'll give it until the next box before I close the guest window. All right, we got a nice Kyle Lewis for the Seattle Mariners. It's going to go to Jason H. and the M's. Oh, 
And we've got a 10 out of 10, Paul Goldschmidt. Nice. Nice low number for the Redbirds. That's in coup with the cards. I like the gold, the nice foil there. Yeah, he's pretty good. All right, looks like no other guesses. All right, the guest window is closed. All right, so congratulations. You, someone, is due to receive a base autograph of... We'll see this. We should see the city first unless the person's name is, is on the longer side. All right, we got a J and an M. Miami, Milwaukee, Minnesota. Wait, I think I know who this is. No, no, maybe not. Well, I, I do now. I thought it was someone else. But it's for Miami. It's Jesus Sanchez. I thought it was Jazz Chisholm at first. But no, no one guessed it. DMAC with the Marlins. Yeah, I thought it was going to be Jazz for a second, too. No. Jesus Sanchez instead for Darren and the Fish. All right, right off the top, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Will Smith. 7 out of 25 for Matt Arnold and the Dodgers. Another late pickup for Matt. Yeah, led rookie catchers with 15 in 20, 2009. Over 1,000 OPS against right-handed pitchers. Pacific PCL All-Star in 2019. First-round choice in 2016. You know, they originally thought that he was going to be more of a defensive catcher. They they weren't they drafted him kind of for defense. The power and the hitting has become a pleasant surprise. But now he's like Austin Barnes is a better catcher than him in terms of receiving the ball, calling a game. And Will Smith is pretty good too, but But like if Kershaw's pitching, I think Austin Barnes will be out there, you know. And you can put Will Smith in DH now, but All right, anyway, it's pretty good. Will Smith. All right. And we got a golden graph. Carlos Delgado, 11 out of 40. That's Michael Los with the Toronto Blue Jays. Nice golden graphs. Carlos Delgado was pretty incredible for a while. Two-time All-Star, three-time Silver Slugger. He finished with 2,000 hits, 473 home runs, 280 lifetime. Not bad, not bad. I think he had a couple, he had a top two MV, top five MVP year when he had 145 RBIs in 2003. What, what was his Hall of Fame sort of? No, he never really quite got there. Only 3.8% in 2015, and then that was it. Didn't get the minimum. But if you played fantasy baseball around that time, he'd be a pretty reliable pickup for a good chunk of years. <laughs> Matt Ron saying Rockies. His Rockies are king of receiving catchers who can't hit. All right, let's see what we got here. Next two. We got Starling Marte for the fish. Darren with Miami. All 
And there's Wade Boggs, 13 out of 25. One of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia episodes where the, where the gang tries to beat Boggs' record. We're a family-friendly show. So it's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, not a family-friendly show if kids are watching. But if you're an adult, it's worth a watch. Five-star career, one of 11 in the top 25 of both doubles and singles. Owns Fenway Park record with a 369 batting average. Higher average in the majors, 328 than the minors, 318. Yeah, that's not common. And reached in 38 games in 1982, 11 top five finishes in fielding percentage by a third baseman. I feel like we don't, except for It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, I feel like we don't talk about Wade Boggs that much. Why is Wade Boggs not talk about much? My colleague Teddy Jaspi loves Wade Boggs. He's a Red Sox fan, big Wade Boggs fan, Hall of Famer, 12-time All-Star, World Series winner in 96, two-time Gold Glover, I think that was with the Yankees, eight-time Silver Slugger, five-time batting title. Man. Hit 349 in his rookie year, 361 the next year, 325, 368, 357, 363, 366. Man. Strikeouts, less than, less than like 40, 40 to 60. It's unheard of. This that wouldn't happen today. Although, with the way Boggs could hit, I'll bet. Uh, I'll bet in this era, Boggs could probably be a guy that hits like I don't know, three twenty, and maybe he hit twenty four home runs once. But like, I feel like if he wanted to, he could up the strikeouts a little bit. <laughs> and if he doubled his strikeouts, I feel like he would have like. You could still hit like 300 and hit like 30 home runs. And still just destroy in doubles. All right, next two. We got Nate Pearson, rookie auto for the Blue Jays. The fireballer, Michael Lose with Toronto. Nate Pearson, Alec Manoa, a couple good young pitchers on that rotation. I think Alec Manoa had a really nice start the other day. All right, and this one here is Andrew Vaughn, rookie auto for the White Sox. And that'll be for David and the White Sox. Nice one, David. All right. Two more to go. We got Dave Winfield. This is a Twins edition. Here's another dude who had ridiculous stats in his career. First ballot Hall of Famer, leads Minnesota-born players, 465 home runs, 3,000 hits while with the Twins, owns Twins record of 31 home runs for, for a 40-plus year old, seven-game Midsummer Classic hitting streak. Yeah. He's pretty good. Minnesota Dave Winfield going to John G. And then back here is Luis Robert, 15 out of 25 Golden Graphs. For David and the White Sox. Nice one, David. All right. And final box. We got one of the nicest bit of penmanship in the league, Aaron Nola. If we had Jaspi's autograph camp, Aaron Nola would definitely be a guest speaker. That's for Zach. Zach on the board with the Phillies. And the last one here is going to be Ha Sung Kim. The Korean infielder, 40 out of 50. 
Padres, that's for Nathan. Nathan on the board at the very, very end with the Friars. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Five star in the books. Now, there's also a wax party spot associated here. So let's give that away as well. Let's go back to the list. Let's gather everybody's names between Lauren and Matt and everyone in between. Let's take out the Rockies from this equation. And let's roll it and randomize that list two and a four six times. Name on top after six gets into the wax party. Check out the details of the promo on jazbeescaserace.com. A lot of great things that you can win. Check out the grand prize. One, two, three, four, and a two. Five and six. Five and sixth and final time. So drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Oh, David, very close, but not quite. But hey, thank you and thank everybody for uh, for giving this a shot. Name on top, though, after six is going to be Ethan Cook. Ethan, I didn't even call your name. All break. Ethan, but a wax party spot going your way. So thank you and thanks, everybody, for making this happen. Appreciate it. 2021 five star MLB. I don't think we have any more five stars, so this will be the last five star for a little bit until we get more. Thanks everybody for watching and breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I will see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.